Yes, sir. A line of defense came to the backyards of homes in South Boulder. It was kind of like a bomb had gone off about, I would say, you know, a thousand feet away from our back door. On Saturday, Darren Kelly watched as flames got closer to his fence. And all of a sudden you see the red retardant being dropped down just beyond, uh, you know, maybe a few hundred feet from your backyard. That sort of focuses things before you. That was a theme through the neighborhood. I think people are putting the sprinklers on and I mean, and maybe it's a little bit of a futile effort, but um, I, maybe it makes you sleep a little better. As his family packed before evacuating, Kelly got some help from a friend who went through the same thing during the Marshall fire. And he said, listen, just take the, the memorabilia, the things that are important that can't be replaced. And one of the things that I did throw in the back of the car was uh, his daughter's uh, hockey gear bag because she lost all of her hockey gear. My daughter and her do his daughters uh, play together. They left not knowing if their house would make it. Unfortunately for a lot of us who live in the South Boulder area, we're sort of used to this. This time, firefighters saved his neighborhood. Kelly's family is filled with gratitude as they return home, knowing his friend wasn't as lucky after the Marshall Fire. I think we're going to be very thankful when we go and go through the door. Yeah, and he tells me that this experience is making him think about fire mitigation plans, something, Steve, that he thinks his neighbors are going to be talking about a lot more in the near future, especially after seeing two wildfires in this county in just a couple months. Yeah, certainly a lot of people in the last three months are probably thinking, I've got to make some different plans. Kelly Rinke, yeah. reporting live in Boulder. Thank you.